Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the star named EOS. This was developed by Silver Lining Studio, published by Playism and is usually available for £12.49 or $14.99. Now this is another very cutie story driven puzzle type adventure game where we play as Day or just die uh, for the Brits that tried to speak a foreign language in English and failed badly at it. Um, but as die, <laughs> we go through a lovely, really lovely looking world, photographing many things while uncovering a dark family mystery. Now, as for achievements and trophies, now what I've actually done from now on in the timestamps is actually marked which ones are story related, just so you know. Uh, the ones that are left blank, and have got just the achievement name in it, are missable slash miscellaneous ones, which in this game, there are a plenty. Uh, but don't worry if you do miss something, there's, there is and always will be chapter select at the end of the game. But all in all, uh, you should be, it, it should be an easy enough follow, and you can get this done in around 50 minutes or so. So, with that being said then, well, let's do it, and let's new game up this business, thousands. Drowsens. Uh, by the way, any dialogue and cutscenes are unskippable, so just enjoy the scenery and the talkingness of it all. Day. Die! Die! Wake up, die! You late for your dole appointment, boy! Have you ever looked forward to opening your eyes? Oh, and any Americans watching, the dole is basically like welfare in your country land. Okay, so you can move the cursor with the left stick, move the camera with the right stick. We are going to speak to our lady baby friend right here, who is actually just our mommy. Um, I assume so, anyway. Uh, so there's just going to be basically three stars that we're going to look at. They're very obvious. The first one is right there. They'll all be on the same screen. You might just have to move the camera ever so slightly. Uh, but just go ahead and interact with all of those three stars until we move on to the first chapter. They do not fade away just because you close your eyes. Nor will they be dimmed by fleeting clouds. Just open your eyes. And you'll see shooting stars full of wishes. Day, are you asleep? Right then, die boy, time to wake up. That dream was lovely. Uh, it reminded me very much of Futurama, where Fry dreams about his mother in the past. Very sad, very sad. Okay, so turn around, look at your bed, interact with the lamp, and then interact with it again to turn it on, and then interact with the letter here. To die, to die, my, is, uh, God damn it, I don't even know which die it is. Nope, I've lost it. I've lost it. Anyway, you interact with the letter there a couple of times. You can press the A button or the B button to close it. Turn around and look at the safe just underneath the TV here. And we are going to be putting in the first number with the first with the four buttons here on the left-hand side. So you need to interact with that. And then the code you need to put in will be 0524. So that's 0524. And then once inside, just go ahead and interact with the camera and the compass to get the game really moving. So now we are going to look at our camera, take a picture for the first time. So you'll need to press the X button or the square button on the PlayStation. Look at the window and you need to get it right in the middle. So it's basically like a tutorial. So you can uh, zoom out with the left trigger and uh, zoom in with the right trigger. 
and then press the right bumper button in order to take a picture. Now, in every chapter, we will have to take three very random but very specific photos. So the first one here, go slightly to the left, interact with the globe, and you'll know when you've taken a picture correctly, um, because once you've taken the picture, the frame on it, on the outside, uh, there's some dialogue at the bottom, and the you can see that the dialogue is, uh, the frame around the picture is a bit different. Uh, so interact with the Eiffel Tower here on the left-hand side as well. And again, some dialogue and the frame. If, you ha if you've taken a picture that is wrong, the frame around the picture will remain white uh, rather than have a funky little background around it. So just be aware of that. Third one, take a picture of the TV. And again, once you've got the different frame and the dialogue, you know you've done it right, <laughs> rightly. And that is our first achievement. P -p 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 Piecing it together. So interact with the flowery box here on the left. Then we're going to click the top left, and then the sort of well, 3 o'clock, and then finally 6 o'clock, if you want to uh, go by time. And then the one next to it, uh, which was like 7 o'clock or something, I don't know. Anyway, origami flowers, once you've picked that up. Uh, so that's the code. It should be the same every time. Have a look down and interact with the draw, and we have to put in another couple of symbols. And it is from left to right, a star. Um, a upside down triangle, which kind of reminds me of a Dorito. That's the problem with my fat ass. Everything looks like Doritos these days. Uh, and then it is the diamond. Looks like it's a diamond shape with a dot above and below it. And then finally, it'll be like the Star of David, that boy. Yeah, that one. The That star. Uh, once you open it up, grab the curtains inside, press the B button again to back out. And then turn around, interact with the window. Press the Y button or triangle button on PlayStation, of course, to get your inventory out. Drag the curtains down, move the vase over to the right-hand side, pop your flowers in, and then go ahead and take a lovely little picture. What an introduction. Be -e -a beautiful. Dear Day, I've always believed that seeing it gives it reality. If you see something and experience it as beautiful, there is beauty. Everywhere I look, there is beauty. Why is there so many mirrors around? <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Anyway, uh, once we start the next chapter, have a look at the letter directly in front of us there. Again, it's addressed to Die Boy, and it's a sandwich. Pretty poor-looking sandwich, in all fairness. It, where's, where's the meat, bro? It's just lettuce and a sandwich. Damn it, I'm not a rabbit. Anyway, let's take a few pictures then. So again, press the X button to get your camera out. Take a picture of the uh, picture, the sort of picture frame next to you, first of all. The next one, again, get your camera out and then interact with the door or take a picture of the door. So again, uh, right bumper there to take the picture. And again, it will be three different photos you have to take, specific ones in each chapter. Then interact with the red suitcase. Take a picture of the red suitcase to the left of you under the table. And uh, who do these belong to? Hey, finders keepers, bro. You never heard that game? Anyway, have a look at the right. Uh, to the right next to you is a light switch. Uh, turn it on, and then up above you will find a metal handle just chilling for some particular reason. Why? I do not know. How? I cannot say. When? I don't freaking know. I wasn't here. Anyway, interact with the drawer next to you. Go into your inventory and drag the metal handle down. Yep, drag it down. There we go. Open it up and grab the fork. It, it, it's a very high-tech, high-security encased fork for whatever reason. Interact with the blue suitcase directly in front of us. And again, we're going to be getting another achievement here. So uh, just get all of these symbols to the infinity symbols or the sideways eight, whichever you prefer to call them. Uh, but once you have done the all infinity symbols, that'll get you the Mobius achievement and not the Jared Leto terrible kind Mobius either. 
And now we're going to put in the proper code. So it's going to be from, well, from left to right there. We've got, well, from right to left, infinity symbol, then what looks like a domino, and then a C, and then a star. Uh, and then now with this one, if we're going to, we're going to need to pick up the flask and the cup next to it. Now we have to do the, this section in a specific number of moves. So just go along with exactly what I do here. Um, it is one of those uh, weird sort of things where you have to move everything uh, just even though we could literally just pick up the clothes and get what we need. But it is one of those puzzle types um, games where you have to move things. So just follow along with what I do and make sure to do that correctly in order to get the tidying master achievement. I mean, like I said, that could have all been avoided since we have hands that we could just lift up the clothes and get the meal ticket with. But anyway, uh, that's how it goes. We don't get an achievement for that, but we're going to get another achievement straight away now. So interact, go ahead and interact with the bell and then just keep clicking the bell here until we get the jingle bells, jingle bells, lick on my bell. And then once we get the achievement, go into your inventory, grab the meal ticket down for again, as I said, once we press the bell. Probably the poorest looking sandwich you've ever seen. Look at that. It's literally just like, bruh. I, 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 know, I know people like salad sandwiches. God damn, what the hell's wrong with you? Uh, anyway, have a look at the placemat in front of you. We're going to place the uh, sandwich down, then the cup on the left, the fork on the right. You don't need a fork for that, but anyway. And then pop the coffee in. Now, I'm not a big coffee fan, but the coffee does look better than that sandwich. And that's saying something. Now we're going to need to take a picture of said meal. Because, of course, tis the Instagram way, isn't it? You have to take a picture of any piece of crap food that you've got. Uh, but doing that will actually end this chapter and get us the journey achievement. But we are going to be getting the um, foodie photographer basically being all Instagram. Hey there, I'm an influencer. Can I have some free food? I'll put your restaurant on the map. No, you freaking won't. You with your 20,000 followers. Whoa, bruh. Influencers don't pay the bills, bro. Jesus Christ, what the hell's wrong with these people? Anyway, into the next chapter. Again, have a look at Dai's letter. And then, as I said, we are going to need to whap out our camera again. And then uh, before we get that achievement, we're going to interact with or take a picture of the table in front of us. Uh, to the left, you can see what looks like the Pringles man on a frame, the sort of orange frame there. So take a picture of the Pringles man before he was Pringle famous. And then to the left, take a picture of the framed whale. And that's uh, three again that we need to have done. And then to get the foodie photographer achievement, again, get your camera out and then be all like, Hey bros, it's me, your gal, your guy. Uh, I'm giving this restaurant free exposure. Well, can't wait to pay my gas bill with free exposure. But anyway, once you've got the achievement, interact with the coat next to you. Open up all four pockets uh, for a needle at the end. No, not the needle you're thinking of. It is a compass needle. Don't be a drug head now, then. Don't be a druggie. Uh, so if we have a look to the left there, we can see the clock. We're going to use the needle on that. And then we need to put it at the time anywhere between 4.45 and 5 o'clock. So it really doesn't matter where, as long as it's between 4.45 and 5 o'clock. That will get the game going slightly. So head to the right, or have a look to the right, sorry, to find an amulet sort of behind you. 
Now again, this is another little bit of a puzzle. So what we are going to do is interact with the middle ring twice. Then we're going to interact with the most inner ring twice. There it is. And then we're going to interact with the outer ring uh, once. And then interact with the middle ring once. And then interact with the most inner ring. So that's the middle ring, the most inner ring once. And that will open up that, well, that will get, the, get us the keen eye achievement and we can get some press head flower heads, which is always nice. Okay, oof, has it been 15 minutes? Well, time flies when you're having fun, huh? So turn around behind you, have a look at the radio. We're going to get another achievement here for putting in a different code than what we actually need. So the code that we need this time is 1618, and that is actually for the behind the frame achievement. So again, that's another miscellaneous one there. So 1618, first of all, and then we're going to put in 1939, uh, I believe, 1939. And that will uh, that is how we actually progress the story and get some scissors. Again, very secretive pair of scissors. Who's locking them in a safe, please? Uh, have a look at the photo directly in front of you, and then we can just grab the scissors from the inventory and use it to cut out the tent. Right, so with that one done, we will turn around to the right-hand side. We actually have to interact with the um, the mural or the wall, as it were. And then what we'll do is put the tent in the top right-hand uh, side picture, whatever you want. The flowers in the bottom one. And then that shall be that. Then we can go ahead and take a picture of that and get this chapter ended. Darkness is everywhere around us. And we're always running eagerly towards the light. But we don't have to be afraid. Just open your eyes and take a good look at the darkness. The place where light meets darkness is where miracles happen. Ah, now we're camping. Nice. Right, first of all then, um, as we see, we're going to get the letter again, but this time we have to find some... Uh, they're all meshed up, mashed up, so let's take some pictures anyway. First of all, take a picture of the sign, which is just to the right of the picture. How long would I have to walk to reach this beautiful place? That's why you get a car. Uh, if you take a look to the right, right in the mountains, uh, if you... Um, so there you go. So that is an example of getting it wrong, by the way. Uh, but you shouldn't be have to. Uh, you can just do it literally as you uh, from far away, and that's fine. Uh, we've seen horror films, by the way. Don't even go looking. And then to the right there, you can see the tent. So that is the three photos done. So the mountain, the tent, and the sign behind us. Have a look at the beach and have a look at the uh, bottle right here. We're going to open up the top, get that off, and we've got a little... Something that we have to find. Uh, but now interact with the fishing rod. Interact with it a couple of times until a boot appears. And then interact with said boot. Das Bootia. That's going to get us ye old fishing hook. So once you have ye old fishing hook, take a right. Now what you need to do, you have to put this camera, you have to take a picture in a specific spot. So right in front of us, I've put it where these sort of twigs are aligning. Now if you take a picture there, you can see a little glowing item has just spawned in front of it. Um, if you don't have that little glowing, little light spawn on the floor yet, take another picture, again, roughly in the same area where the twigs are spawning. Uh, sort of crisscrossing until you get that light spawn. Uh, but we'll leave that for a little bit later. Next, go to the right and interact with the barbecue. And then what you need to do is get your rope from your inventory, put it on the key, and then this is kind of like a little maze puzzle where you have to get it around, down, and to the bottom. Even though, again, there's plenty of space where you could have literally just lifted it all the way up. But that would have made for a shorter game, wouldn't it?
<laughs> You're damn right. Oh, yeah, saying that, we probably didn't even need to do that. You know, you can just take grills off, right? Anyway, interact with the red box there just to the right of where it was, uh, the barbecue was. Interact with the key, open up the padlock, grab the shovel inside it. That's quite ominous. Who's just carrying one shovel in a safety box, please? Um, have a look to the left in the picnic basket. And again, this is another one of those puzzles where you just have to copy exactly what I do on screen. Uh, should be easy enough to follow, but you just basically, again, instead of just lifting up the two plates on the end, um, we have to do this whole pretty much unnecessary but very cute puzzle to get what we need. I mean, yeah, again, bruh, you could have literally just put your hand underneath the plates without, you didn't, wouldn't have broken any, but anyway, what do I know? So look around to where the tent is and we've got another little puzzle. Uh, basically, this is just one of those where you've just got to put the uh, latches or clips in the right place. So the first one here, you need to press the A button a couple of times until the latch is at the top. So from left to right, then you've got the latch in the middle and then the second one is at the top. The third one is at the top. The fourth one is in the middle. And then the last one is on the bottom. Again, very secretive for some rope. Now, we've seen enough films to know why people have a rope and shovel. Uh, but apparently this is not one of those games. So, have a look. Now we can have a look at the glowing light, which we uh, took a picture of earlier. All it is is just a letter fragment out of a bottle. So that's, uh, yeah, a bit unnecessarily. Uh, a bit unnecessary there for that little bit of letter. So, have a look at the tent here. Now, we ha again, we have to do this in a specific way. So click the right hand first and then the left hand. And then the right hand twice. And again, there we go. And then the left hand. And then that should be golden as nuggety nugs. It feels pretty sturdy. I'm glad that this is a very cutesy game because this could go bloody anywhere. And again... We could have just had a look underneath and seen if we could find a letter fragment. But again, we had to make it awkward. But there's the third one. So have a look back at the chair. And now just put all of the three letter fragments together. Should be easy enough. Just have a look at the outer edges to know where to put them. All right, so have a look in front of us. You should see the photo fragment just on the floor. And then if we have a look to the right, or the left of us, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting confused my right to my left. So you can see a house in the background. Get your camera out. Now, take a picture. You're going you, you to have to take a picture when the lightning is thundering down upon it. Like now, that will just light it up. Otherwise, uh, the it just won't work. It just will not voik. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell's going on? Same, same. So have a look at the book directly uh, beneath us and turn the pages a couple of times and we're just gonna need to put in a couple of our pictures. So uh, I don't think it matters which order it goes in, so just put all of your three pictures in. 
Uh, not the starry night one, but just this one is fine. And then eventually we'll be able to turn the pages a couple of times and then eventually be able to back out. So, oh, in fact, no, grab the uh, grab this paper first, sorry. So before backing out, make sure to grab that piece of paper at the very end of the book. My bad, homies, my bad. Right, take a look to the right again. We'll take an, another few pictures. First of all, we'll take a picture of the window again. When did I stop looking outside? Probably when you turned away from the window. That's, uh, that's what normally happens. Uh, then have a look at the photo frame on the bed, propped up against the headboard. Oh, man, that's got to be a normal place, isn't it, somewhere? Right, time to get another achievement now. So have a look at the singing box directly in front of where the framed painting was. And then if we have a look to our right, you can see just in the box there, there is uh, something else. And then the box just to the left of it, the flowery box. And then take a look to the right in the next box is the plant. Once you've interacted with all four of those things, uh, the sealed memories achievement will unlock. Now interact with the safe again, directly underneath the TV, and then all you gotta do this time is press all 24 buttons once in order to get the, you press the button 24 times achievement. And then we can just go ahead and simply back out. We're all done with this particular area. Uh, but we're going to get another achievement now. So if we have a look at the desk, just over to the right-hand side, open up the drawer, and then we can interact with the box, uh, little tiny box in here. Now what we need to do is just put all five stars. So um, this should be a star symbol. So just put all star symbols across the way to get the five-star review. And hilariously, the achievement description is, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell. <laughs> Uh, which every single YouTuber does. So that's uh, that's funny. Very funny, that one. Uh, so make sure to do that then in order to get that achievement. And then this is the, the actual code that you need to put in in order to open up the box. So it is sun. So from left to right, it is sun. Uh, camera, I think. Camera, cloud. One of the two. Yeah, so sun, camera, cloud. Um... I know fire is last. Why have I forgotten this? Yeah, star and fire, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so sun, sun, camera, cloud, star and fire. And then we've got a nice cheeky small knife, especially for a cheeky Nando's. And the next little piece of paper on it as well. So once you've got, gone ahead, grab the achievement from there and grab the other two things. Have a look at the wall directly in front of us from where that frame painting was. Put the knife to it. Slicey dicey. And then we need to input this code. You'd think it'd be obvious, but it's not. But it is two, three, six, and five. So two, three, six, five. Now we need to just get rid of a couple of things here. Um, well, just after the little cutscene's going to appear. And all you've got to do for this one then is... Uh, every new location, we have to pick up the picture, pick up the torn photo, and then have a look at our our lady friend uh, directly in front of us. We just have to do this for a minute or so. Well then, I guess that's that mystery solved. Your mama got absolutely destroyed by a meteorite. How unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate, actually. 
Right, so we'll have to move a couple of items here. So put the cuff, uh, put the coffee cup next to the f uh, flask, the cap on the hook directly above it, and then the amulet over to the right-hand side. And then we can pick up the book and flick through the pages. And finally, to get the achievement back out, get your camera out again, and then take a picture of the frame. Um, if it doesn't work, it should work, but if it doesn't, just take another picture of it until the dialogue is underneath, and then you'll get the complete achievement, but that's not the game completed. So again, have a look to the draw on your left. Open it up once more. Uh, open this part up, and then this time... So finally, we know that the top part can be opened. So again, we'll have to put in a bit of a different code. So we go sun, camera, moon, and then leave star as it is. And then it will be the uh, star. So sun cloud, sun, camera, moon, star, star. Uh, but we won't be able to move the compass just yet. So we need to back out a couple of times. Go over to the right-hand side. Have a look at the lamp. Have a look at the radio. And then pick up the pocket compass. Oh, compass. Thank you for your ask, Campia. Take a look over to the left again, interact with the draw, go back in it, put the compass in, and then the needle on top of it. And there we go. So, some more mysteries are going to go on in this bedroom. So, we're going to take a look over to the right. And right in this empty space, just to the right of where the TV is, if you go, have a look up at the sort of blue wallpaper, you should be able to see a secret door. There it is. And then we'll be able to get into that. Very spooky. And this bit is as simple as just putting the uh, telescope together. So you have to put the, the one part from the right over, uh, get the, tel the big telescope part on the left, up on the top, and then use the other piece, and then use your camera. So you'll have to get your camera out of your inventory and use it there. Okay, so some more weirdly but beautiful things going on. What we're going to do is if we have a look to the right, you can see four stars that are lined up. Uh, you're going to have to wait, basically, until they make a bit of a picture here. And as soon as they join together, take a picture to reveal another secret door. Uh, so open it up. And it's, uh, yeah, it's basically a calendar. So you have to just put some specific dates in. So pop the compass in. And then the first one we're going to do is put in February the 30th. And the reason we're going to do that is to get the non-existent day achievement. Because as we all know, there is no February the 30th. So that's another clever achievement there. Anyway, put it to me and put it to me the 24th. Um, and then we can, uh, we'll can we be able to see some more stars. So once it's on May the 24th, press B to back out. Get your camera back out. Have a look at the foot of the bed. And again, once the stars have finished joining up, then you can go ahead and take the picture. You're not timed or anything like that. Uh, so don't worry. Uh, but we just have to do that, but have a look in and grab the first piece of the torn photo, which just looks like a sander sock. Uh, have a look at the calendar there on the left again. And now we're going to go to August the 12th. So make sure to put August at the top and then the 12th. Then you can press B to back out again. And then if we have a look to the right hand side of the big shelf... Again, just wait until the stars have finished doing their aligny joiny joins. Then take a picture. And uh, then we can go ahead and take a little look in. And what do we have? Some more goodness. No, it's just another torn photo. Oh, actually, it does come in handy. So again, just like last time then, you just have to align where the uh, photo goes. Very easy. Just look at the border. And if we interact with the photo there, you can obviously see the date, where, uh, which was 9 and 5, which means September the 5th. So go back to the calendar, go to September, go to the 5th. And that is job done like your nan. 
press the B button again to back out of course and then over to well just then just where uh, above where the calendar is this is where the rest of the stars are going to go bing bang bong bing bang bosh and then once it's done doing whatever it's doing take a picture and that's the end of the chapter Okay, so you are going to take a left. So have a look to the left to interact with a new character we haven't seen before. Oh, see? Yeah, we got you. We got you, girl. Uh, anyway, there's going to be a couple of dialogue options here. doesn't matter what you pick. I just chose the top option each time because why the hell not? You an astronomer too? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Nat. I've just started working at the observatory nearby. It's meteor shower season. Did you come all the way out here to take photos of the meteor shower? There's not a cloud in sight tonight, so it's the perfect chance to get some photos of the stars. So, have you gotten any good shots? I see. As a thanks for saving my life, let me be your guide. So, we're coming up to another miscellaneous achievement here. Now, basically, there's two ways to go in the woods. Now, what where you would go to go the right way is if you have a look up in the sky, you'll be able to see an obvious-looking flash, flashy star. So, if we just uh, so that, again, there's only two ways to go, but the way we the way we need to go to get the lost achievement is to go the opposite way of the shining star. So if you have a look up, up in the sky, that's the shining star we're talking about. That's the correct way, but again, we're going to be going the opposite way. So have a look in the sky, wherever that shining star is, turn around and go the opposite way until the lost achievement unlocks. And then once that is actually done, go ahead and follow the Star of Bethlehem tonight. Jeebus would love my singing. Uh, but anyway, follow the star until we get to talk to Lady A. Who are we? Where are we? And why are we here? It's like we're obsessed with finding the one and only truth. But before we search for the ultimate answer, aren't there other things we want to know about the universe? Wow, isn't it amazing? Hey! So, another little miscellaneous one here. All we're going to do is actually just take a picture of these stars. You can, I believe you can miss this one. Um, so, yeah, just go ahead and take a picture of the, as soon as that night star appears, take a picture of it, and that will get you the Memories of Starry Skies achievement. And now, literally, just for the next couple of minutes, once that achievement has unlocked, which make sure it has, all you got to do is actually click on the star themselves until... You get a bit of dialogue and you get a nice little picture going of a mum and her son pointing at the stars. It's actually really, really super cool. You see, those stars make up the tail of Ursa Major. But Ursa Major never looked like a bear to me. All I see is a water strider. When people look up at the sky with a heart full of emotions, they see stars of their own. The universe gently responds and connects the dots for you. In the blink of an eye, 
you might lose sight of your star. But that doesn't mean it's gone. You might have connected it with other stars to form something new. Those stars are the ancient Greeks Ursa Major and my little water strider. They can also be someone's dreams or even their loved ones. They're all crystal clear and true to themselves. You can search for as long as you want. The stars aren't going anywhere. Oh, right. You can have this. This is a trinket I used to pray with when I'm faced with obstacles. But I think you need it more than I do right now. My, my sister in Christ, that is not a trinket. That is a compass. But I suppose if you do get lost, then it does come in handy. A very handy trinket. Uh, but anyway, we're back in our bedroom. We get the constellation achievement there for just uh, grabbing exactly that. Uh, but we're not quite done yet. We've still got a few minutes left to do. So go ahead, interact with the book, skip through the pages. I think it does it automatically anyway. And then we can go ahead and put the only photo that you should have into the book. There it is, Luke. And the stars are going to fly across the sky. Puke. Stop rhyming, bruh. Right, uh, so we're going to interact with the window as soon as the dialogue stops. So go ahead, interact with the window there. Now we are going to be getting another achievement. So basically, when our little lady friend is talking, uh, just leave a talk. Don't take any pictures of anything else or anyone else. Just go ahead, get your camera out. So, um, put it on our lady little darling friend and then when she stops talking wait a second or two and then take the picture fine Jesus but that is what we're going to do so wait a few seconds take the picture she'll have some more dialogue so wait until she finishes and then as soon as she's finished and she's not talking then you can snap another picture and then just do that two or three times until we can disembark. And in our hearts, you were given the best present in the world. The letters mention stories of your childhood. Is there anything different that you noticed about this train? Look! We're almost there. There it is. So, yep, you should have got the forgot to press the shutter achievement. So we can go ahead, interact with the door, and then we're basically going to end up in another scene. Uh, but just do the same thing here then. So every time she stops talking, go ahead and take the picture. Do this two or three times again. Stars. Always trying to see if anything had changed. But then the war broke out, and even though I lived nowhere near the battlefield, all the smoke and the sound of gunfire still scared me. Oh, don't mind my ramblings. Keep on taking those photos. I wanted to keep looking at the stars so badly. I started studying books on the subject, and eventually, I became an astronomer. I've always been so curious about the sky, and that curiosity for the unknown has always driven me forward. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. There's still so much more to be excited about. I envy how insightful you've always been, Day. It's getting late. We should get going. And then again, once that's done, interact with the door to leaf this beautiful looking village. And we are going to be getting another two achievements here. So the first of all, we are going to get our camera out and take a picture of the birds. Don't worry, the birds will uh, fly by. They continue to fly by. So don't worry if you miss it there like I almost did. Literally doesn't matter. 
And the other one is we need to fill up our photography book. So we need to take, so there's the birds. They will always go flying by, so don't worry if you missed that. But now we need to take 80 photos. So we have to fill up our um, camera. So just keep going then until you get uh, 80 cameras nice and fulfilled. Once that is done, turn around, interact with your long-armed slender lady friend. And then for the last bit, this is literally the last bit of the game, turn around, again, a very, very beautiful way to end the game, but interact with the graveyard directly in front of you. And that will be that. To mom. Ah, mommy. <laughs> mommy, mommy. If you have a mother who is not a dick to you, go and tell your mother you love her. Trust me. Just, just trust me on that. Uh, anyway. Um, <clears throat> once the credits roll, we can go ahead and skip this one. And the last achievement then should unlock called The Pursuit. And that should be all 24. <clears throat> Sorry, that should be all 24 achievements done and dusted. So thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and share with a friend, of course, as usual. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Uh, so thank you so, so much for watching. Again, go check out my new True Crime Gamers podcast, Gamers Dark, uh, Gaming's Dark Aside, if you want to have a little listen to that if you want. But thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.